While this may come as a surprise to some, it should come as no surprise to many that we are looking at a new progression system in Marvel Strike Force that will be on top of yellow stars and red stars. That's right, people. Today, we're going to talk about diamonds. Now, this is going to be my raw, visceral, uncensored reaction to this. I have read the information five minutes before filming this video. I have another 30, 45 minutes before the news goes live to the game. So I'm giving very little time to process this. I basically have no time to ask questions. So it is what it is. Um, my initial gut reaction of everything, and I will break it down point by point. I will read through this as much as I can, as much as I can stomach, is that this is total bullshit. It is pay to win. If you fancy yourself being competitive at Marvel Strike Force and you are not prepared to spend $400 to $600 a month, you should reconsider your desires to remain competitive at Marvel Strike Force. Marvel Strike Force is a predatory mobile video game that is pay to win and will extort you for every dollar if you lit it. I rally against that. I encourage you not to spend any money on the diamond progression system. It is a load of horse shit that is put into place to part you from your money. If you do so, you do so with knowing that I told you that this is totally bullshit. Whenever they introduce new currencies into a mobile game, it is bad for the player with no exception. And this is going to be no exception. If this turns out to be an amazing feature that everybody just fucking loves, well then, shame on me. But I will probably cor be correct when history comes down. Will it be fun when it originally hits and you're able to put like an extra 15 to 30% power on your favorite character? Yeah, that might be fun. I'm going to really enjoy having a diamond on Robbie Reyes someday because you're still gated behind yellow stars and red stars. Okay. This is in a previous video. Your red stars are garbage now. It doesn't fucking matter anymore how many red stars you have on any of your characters. Um, they're going to be really, really cheap, really, really available, and it's not really going to be a big deal. Think about like Stark Tech. Red stars are going to be like a forgotten system like Stark Tech. Just something you got to do. Just whatever. Um, yellow stars are still going to be kind of expensive. I mean, they're trying to make that more available. We've seen higher red stars or higher yellow stars be given out on new characters through extra events that will come out after the initial release event. So I find that most of my new characters, I'm getting to five yellow, six yellow, pretty uh, faster than I used to be able to. Um, seven yellow still takes a fucking long time. Um, and that is going to that is going to really separate you. The gap between spender and non-spender in this game is going to be widened by this system. Okay. Diamonds are powered. That's really all you need to know. If you don't have diamonds, you're fucked. Okay. That's it. They've said it all. It's right here. They're not even hiding this shit. Dude, the guys that spend a lot of money are just salivating over this or pissed. I don't know. I don't fucking care. I look and me personally, I don't fucking care. Me personally, my biggest problem with diamonds is that they're fucking ugly. Like you're going to see them and I don't want my characters with these fucking diamonds under them instead of their cool red stars. I like the look of seven red. That looks fucking good. Three diamonds looks like bullshit. It just fucking ugly. So there's my first criticism of this whole system. Diamonds are fucking ugly and they hide your yellow and red stars. So it's like they don't fucking exist. It's really weird. It's not pleasing to the eye. Okay, guys, it's not pleasing to the eye. They should, it should be a frame or maybe a sparkle that you can put on them. Like, holy shit. It's like, they're not even trying. It's, it's really like, they're not even trying with this. They, they just want the money. I, I don't even want to read this shit. I'm so fucking like grossed out just by their appearance. Honestly. I mean, let me know down in the comments. Do you think this looks cool? <laughs> Literally no one. There's one guy. I actually love the look of diamonds. Oh my God. So to put diamonds on a character, you have to have seven red on a character. So that's a huge problem in itself. One diamond is 15% boost in all stats. Two diamonds is an extra 15%. Three diamonds is 20%. So 
there's really no ramp. It's like more diamonds, more better. It, it doesn't ramp like red stars, which honestly I think is probably really bad. One diamond should be cheap and give 5%, two diamonds, 10%, three diamonds, 15 or 20%. But uh, 15, 15, 20, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. How to upgrade diamonds. There's going to be currencies. There's either going to be random currency that you earn to give you random diamonds. Holy shit. Or there's going to be a diamond orb that you can buy and that'll guarantee diamonds. So there's going to be diamond orbs that don't fucking give diamonds. How many more layers of shit can we apply to the shit layer cake that are diamonds? I don't know. Let's keep going. So like promotion credits for red stars, diamonds will have their own unique currency to upgrade them called diamond credits. What I'm not really clear on here, and I would have asked questions about this, is like, do you just, do diamonds kind of come randomly to your roster or do you always get to assign them individually like isotope eight? Is it like isotope eight or is it like red stars where you're just like playing a lottery? I don't know. Probably more gambling, right? The cost to upgrade characters with di diamond credits is given out. Um... It's like 500 for one diamond. At that. Oh, the price is insane. So it's like cheap for your first diamond. So you can go around, put one diamond on all your seven red characters, get a 15% stat buff, uh, boost, and yay. The, the second level is like three times expensive. And then the third level is like insanely expensive. It's like over double what the second level cost. So it goes 500, 1,500, 4,500. So the third diamond is going to be like, I don't know, guys. I, I'm going to suggest once again to build narrow. Um, a lot of people are going to tell you, go put one diamond on all your characters and be mediocre. I'm going to say, take your best meta characters and put three diamonds on them and fuck everybody else and fuck this game if that doesn't work out. Uh, any duplicate diamond drops will be converted into silver diamond credits at a very low ratio because fuck you. And then, all right. Here, there is one good part of this blog. There is one good part, and that is you can earn diamond orbs through a tower-like game mode, which I'm limited in speaking about. Let's just say it that way, but I don't know. Hopefully, the game mode will be cool, and if the game mode is cool, then maybe it'll soften the blow of this bullshit, but really, it's just going to be pay to win. I mean, the problem with this is is it's going to be an extremely pay-to-win game mode where the top levels will only be beatable with high diamond characters. That's it. So the top of this tower that they're going to introduce is only going to be accessible with high diamond characters, so most players will never fucking touch it. And they don't... And they are, they're also saying you're going to earn diamonds from Cosmic Crucible. Oh, Cosmic Crucible is going to be a shit show. There's another layer of shit to the shit cake right there, guys. Oh, 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 fuck you. Cosmic Crucible. Guys, if you're in Masters and you don't spend money, just drop down. Just drop down right now. Just start losing one out of every every three. Like, win two, lose one. That's going to be Cosmic Crucible gospel from now on for us free-to-play guys. Fuck that shit. I've never been to Masters. I'll never go. Masters is going to be a total shit show. Grandmasters is only going to be guys with money like they want. Like, I've been saying... In uh, a couple videos now, this game went to crack it land and it's never fucking coming back. Okay. This is going to be pay to win until the end. All right. It's never going to be friendly to free to play players. We are living on borrowed fucking time. If you remember Marvel Strike Force being a fun game to play without any money spent, those days are going to become a fucking distant memory if they haven't already. All right. Uh, which characters get diamonds? All right, they've learned one lesson. They say at the top, we've learned a bunch of fucking lessons about red stars, guys, and we're going to implement them. They've learned one fucking lesson, and that's to leave minions out of it. So minions won't be involved in it. So fuck you if you like minions. Most people hate them. That's great. And then any good characters, Ultron, Doctor Doom, Dormammu, Super Scroll, Morgan Le Fay, Rogue, Red Hulk, Archangel, Nova, Black Cat, they're all going to have... It's going to be really fucking hard to get diamonds on them because there's going to be these dark diamonds and, and they're going to cost even fucking more because of course they will. Because fuck you. <laughs> this whole blog reads to me like, fuck you, free-to-play player. Get out of my game. You're done. Dude, if I wasn't so fucking balls deep in this game, I would quit today. Just fuck this. A lot of people are going to look at this and go like, well, it's over. It's over, boys. And uh, if you feel that way, let me know down in the comments. If you think this is going to be fucking great, let me know down in the comments so we can all laugh at you. And grave diggers, keep digging.